Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth Hargrave. I'm the vice president of MA, and I totally forgot to record the uh, the announcements part of the meeting last night. So I'm here again just to do a quick video with some of the stuff we wanted to share with you. A couple articles to recommend to you guys. The Washington Post, if you didn't see it yet, um, had an article about four ways to learn about fungi and foraging in the DC area. Ma was the first one. And what you may not have noticed was that two of the other three um, also referenced Ma members. Matt Cohen, who runs Matt's Habitat's Wild Food Walks, uh, is the treasurer of Ma, and Jared Urchek, who runs uh, Mushroom Walks for Foxhaven sometimes, um, is also on the Ma board. And Holly Pool Cavana, who is the fourth in the um, in the article, has has also uh, definitely shown up at our events. So it was a fun article to see everyone featured in the post. Um, and then there's an article in Newsweek recently uh, that Marisol forwarded. Um, talking about the, the work that's been going on at Johns Hopkins around the use of psilocybin for treating a variety of things, including treatment resistant depression. Um, it's fascinating work and uh, worth checking out that article. We had a great weekend foray up in Pennsylvania a few weeks back um, at the Sequinota Conference Center found 230 species of mushrooms at the final count. If you wanna see pictures of some of them, if you go on iNaturalist and search for Maw Sequinota 2021, it'll bring up, there's I think about 130 different species um, that made it into iNaturalist over the course of the weekend. And we went ahead and reserved it for next year for Labor Day weekend. We're gonna try a three day foray and see how that goes. So I hope folks can, save the date and make it out for that. Uh, we had lots of great time looking at, at the mushrooms on the tables and also, uh, you know, going out in the woods and, and looking for mushrooms. And on Saturday night, there was a great group of folks in the kitchen who cooked up a bunch of the edible mushrooms that we had found. So great weekend. Thanks, everybody. If you miss Sequinota or if you were excited by it, we do a similar set of stuff over the weekend here locally in DC at the um, mushroom fair that we run at Bookside Gardens every October. So we have a whole bunch of furries scheduled for Saturday, October 16th. And then on October 17th, all afternoon, we will have them spread out on tables at Bookside Gardens. You can come take a look. Um, we'll take walks around the grounds of Brookside and, and Wheaton Regional Park. It's right there. Um, folks will bring microscopes. Uh, we'll have some videos showing. Um, feel free if you don't make it out on any of the forays, or even if you do, to bring mushrooms that you just find on your own for the table. And we will try and get them ID'd and see how many we can find over the course of that weekend. Some other upcoming events that we can have that happens to be National Mushroom Day on Friday, October 15th. And uh, the folks who did the movie Fantastic Fungi have organized this global summit, they're calling it, uh, with tons of great looking speakers lined up. Um, our speaker for tonight, actually, <laughs> excuse me, Mark Potkin, and then, um, Paul Stamets, uh, Michael Pollan, all kinds of great people on the agenda. Um, you can look it up on their website and sign up for emails about it. Um, but it's gonna be a lot of free live streams. And then there's also sort of a paid tier where you can participate in more things and, and download the, the videos. Um, we have one foray scheduled even past the, uh, the ones for Brookside um, on October 24th, the next weekend, we've got a spooky lichen walk for Halloween um, at Rock Creek Park Cemetery on the 24th. And then at the end of the month, really on Halloween, um, is the deadline for the ball photo contest. So send in any good photos that you've taken this year of mushrooms, um, and we will put together a presentation of that and maybe have some fun little prizes for folks who win the photo contest. John Harper wanted me to mention the culinary co-op that he has started. Um, it's on the mall 
website under culinary co-op. Um, it's a thing you can join and participate in the online forums there, um, basically as a way for people to communicate about um, edible mushrooms that they have found. If you want to share them and set up little mini tastings, um, if you just you know found enough for a few people, you can do that. Yeah. For it to be a MA event, you do need to make sure that um, someone who's on the official identifier team for MA takes a look at it and confirms that it is in fact edible. Um, we like to keep everyone safe. And they're doing a, um, a sort of exploratory public event at, or, or mom member event but in a public location um at the Anxo cidery um they're going to do a mushroom pizza party um i think that is is all full but you can sign up for their wait list and you know express your interest and maybe we'll get more of those set up uh, one last thing I want to touch on is that Ma has set up a, a more formal scholarship program. We've always had some funds available for our sort of educational purposes um, that have been used in various ways, but we've established a formal application process um, and a few different tracks. Megan Romberg, who's our science advisor, has, has added this up. And I think we'd probably welcome additional support if if you want to help review applications or anything like that, but we are also looking for people to apply for the scholarships. Um, so please help spread the word. Uh, we've got funding available for undergraduates or graduate uh, students um, who need funding for things like supplies or equipment or travel, preferably on projects related to the mid-Atlantic area or mushrooms that grow here. Um, and then we ask people to provide a short presentation to a, a mom meeting and a, a report that we can put in the newsletter. Um, and one of our presentations tonight from Thomas Rail is, is actually the result of some funding that, that mom was able to give him for the work that he's doing right now in his graduate work. Um, the committee is also talking about putting together some introduction to mycology kits for educators. Um, so stay tuned on that or chime in if you have ideas. Um, and just a thanks to everyone who has joined Ma and especially the folks that add on a little donation uh, when you pay your membership fees because uh, those are the funds that are making this possible and there's been interesting stuff to come out of it. So thank you. And so we've got several great presentations tonight and thanks all for tuning in.